And here we are, this is Roslyn Chapel, um, just to the south of Edinburgh in Scotland. And this was built in the mid 1400s and has a lot of connections to the secret societies and even the Templars. It was used as a filming location for the Da Vinci Code movie. And uh, today I have an exclusive look inside of some of the more hidden stuff that just is so telling about this cult and this secret society. Even the, the owners say that there's secret guilds um, here that are so, were so secret that even today we don't know much about what they did or what they were. So it just gives you an idea of what this place is about. stonework you can see on two sides you've got pillars like I XX I which of course is 9-11 in Roman numerals and you often see them in uh, ancient Catholic places This is a creepy place and uh, I think you'll agree with me, we'll, we'll go and have a look inside and uh, I'll show you some of the things that are going on in Rosalind Chapel. Here we are in Rosalind Chapel and you notice straight away when you come in. This is added in the last couple of hundred years but there's Dan backwards just like the tribe of Dan perhaps you know but this is purposely been written backwards Dan this place is so loaded with Knights Templar symbolism and paganism carved into the stone walls, absolutely full of this stuff. What's interesting is you can see these runes, which look very similar to uh, ones we've seen in Gilgal Rephaim in Israel, um, where you know witches go perhaps and, and do rituals. But these look very much like runes carved in hundreds of years ago. These are carved in. And so, you know, you see these all over, these crude symbolism that's carved into stone. So it makes you wonder who's done that, you know. And these, which they call the stonemasons, 
signatures. But they, they do in themselves, I'm sure you'd agree, look kind of like secret symbolism that, that maybe has a deeper meaning hidden in plain sight, as per usual. So the story goes is that the master mason built this pillar. Very straight, normal pillar, the master stonemason. And then his apprentice built this pillar. This very rounded, carefully constructed pillar. The apprentice built that pillar. And then the master mason came and got so jealous, according to the, the story, that he killed his apprentice for building a pillar that was better than his. So there's a lot of Mason Masonic tales and Masonic legends here. See that cross there, which is interesting. Some, some ideas and speculations here. There's very similar concept to the IHS Jesuit logo, where you've got the, because you've got both both the straight line and the waves, which is very similar to the Jesuit Black Sun in concept, at least. That you have the Black Sun with the straight lines emanating from the sun and the wavy lines. So there's a lot of links you could perhaps make with all of this symbolism in places like this. That looks like the flower of life to me. And then the pent pentagram, pent what is this like an astrology thing, do you think? Yes. It's kind of pagan, some of that sort of pagan, yes. pagan stuff. You can see here, um, this is very interesting because I've never seen this exposed online, but if you look at these, this shows that if this has a Knights Templar connection, um, the pentagrams and uh, that the we're told that they worship Baphomet and the Knights Templar and things. And, and then um, you also see a lot of runes like up here carved into the wall. And look at the flower of life. Mm. 
So what's the potential significance of the fact that the flower of life is in here in Rosalind Chapel um, and there's cubes in, in the roof upstairs? So what do some think about that? So some people think that the flower of life drawn down here being sacred geometry um, and mathematical is obviously um, a symbol for initiates potentially that shows how um, they would have used the um, geometry to both build and um, arrange the vibrations of the um, uh, the things on the ceiling of the chapel so wow. essentially um, a, a carving of the flower of life here would tell somebody who knew geometric um, knowledge has been used yeah. to create the vibrations, so like vibrations and, and all yeah. those pagan type uh, practices mm. and uh, that's very interesting um, because they say that some of this is a, to do with the design of the church so the stone mate the masons and things that were involved mm. were it says on the um, on the history of the church that this is also combined with that so that makes sense that these are kind of to do with the, the vibrations in the church mm. very very interesting it says a lot about the uh, Templars and what they were involved with, and the, Kabbalah. Yes, and the knowledge that they had that had been passed down as well was is seen as a bit ahead of its time yeah. as well, and uh, you know something that's not easily and and you know kept secret, kept um, that there's layers of the knowledge too, that there are layers for initiates and then other knowledge for others higher up, and it's continual seeking of that knowledge. Mm. Um, Nothing new under the sun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that shows a strong connection and also to Baphomet in the pentagram. Yeah. So it, wonder, it makes you wonder what was going on in crypts like these. Were they, were they doing rituals down here underground, you know? The history of this place, you know? It just makes you wonder what has gone on underground here and uh, and everything that this is used for and the connections that it has, as we saw, to certain groups and to families and to um, elitists. And uh, you just see so many indicators of the, you know, the symbols that they use and just this same conspiracy that we've seen so many times throughout the world um, at least that there are these groups that worship the enemy and uh, and this is prevalent throughout history and this is what ties all history together that the same kind of false gods and demonic satanic practices have existed across the world since babylon and it all ties into babylon the false religion of babylon so really, this should indicate to all of us that there is, this is the truth, this is what ties everything together, that there is sin in the world, there is an enemy, there is Satan, as the Bible describes. And the Bible eloquently describes all of these things, the religion of Babylon and Egypt, and where all these things dated back to. And so I just implore you today, please look into the Bible to find the answers, the truth of your real creator, of the true God, the living God in heaven that is always, there has always been an affront to him. And you want to be on the good side, you want to be on the winning side, you want to be on the side of your creator uh, to, to go and enter into heaven when we die and not into hell where all of this evil will lead. Her steps lay down to death and hell. And to really show you that the enemy exists and the enemy counterfeits and pretends, masquerades as light. And yet, deep down, we know that Jesus Christ is the only truth. And even if they use and abuse Christianity, we know that the real biblical doctrine, the real truth is what matters. And that Jesus is real, despite these lies and these deceptions.